So I thought I was streaming this whole time, but apparently I, maybe I wasn't. But um, So we're working on this fish hook, Maui's hook that he invented. We've been talking about the story that we told yesterday about Maui. We've been making these Hawaiian style traditional designs. Attempting to do that properly. And how Maui had invented this hook with the barbs on it and the spear with the barbs on it to catch the birds that would fly away otherwise. And how he went way, way, way out, convinced his brothers who didn't think very much of him, convinced his brothers to take him way, way out because they couldn't catch any fish that day. This is And this is a big shape like this with an arrow at the end. So it's a little tricky. We practice this a lot of times on a blackboard first. This is kind of like a bent cone shape here. It jags back in right there. So it's a cone shape that goes like that. Cone shape first. It's wider and wider and wider. And then it jags back in and starts again. Comes all the way around up above where the hook was. There's passing the place where the hook was and continuing on up. There's a little spot up here, a little nub at the end so that you could use your coconut fiber twine to tie this on there real firmly. So that if you catch something, and bring it in without your thing breaking. Okay, so. Continuing on our design here. Various cross hatch and lines and zigzags and jig jags, if that's a word and some swirls. And eventually he put this sacred bird that he had gotten from his mother on the end of his hook as bait, and he lowered it down, lowered it down, lowered it down all the way to the bottom of the ocean. You want to try to draw the sacred bird? Yeah. It's called a ala'a or ala'a. I can't remember the name of the bird. Um, very colorful feathers, I guess, according to the version of the story I read. No, I don't want to hurt a All right, well, sometimes you got to put a worm on a hook to get some fish. And if you need some fishing up an island, apparently you need a sacred bird on the end of your hook. You do not need to draw the bird. But you can if you want. Yeah, sure, why not? I'm drawing the bird. I'm drawing the bird. What color should my bird be? It's gonna be a brown. Maybe don't put the bird on the hook, but put the bird over here to just show what kind of bird it would be. I like this this peacocky kind of bird that I do, but I don't know what the they named the bird in the story, but I don't remember what it what the name was and I don't remember I don't know what it looks like. And then there were a couple things in the story that I read that I tried to look them up other places and it didn't seem like it was quite accurate. I don't have that book with me right now. A folk tales book. I like how it looks with this uh, slightly tan. This kind of reminds me more of a bone-like color. Although bones can be very white also. I'm not going to draw the bird right now because I, first of all, my background is dark as I see a lot of yours are as well. And um, I'm going to look, you can, 
but I'm going to look it up and see what it really looks like, and then see if I can see if I can draw it based on that. All right, that's it for now of the stream. There's a little short stream to just show the show that.